put your hands together for Yana Karen! I didn't know she was gonna tell everyone that. That was supposed to be our little secret. But I am in Vegas, so I might consider it. Give it up for Tommy Rockets and Cozy for allowing people like me to come here and have the opportunity to do what we love. That's enough. It's not like they're paying us, you know. A lot of people ask me why I do comedy, and it's simple, it is. When I was growing up, people always told me I was funny, and they told me I could dance. So I figured I had two choices, right? I could be a comedian, or I could be a video hoe. And being a video ho was actually my first choice, honestly. <laughs> but since I was fat, it just kind of ended up falling under comedy anyway, so here I am. <laughs> Nonetheless, though, I am about to lose weight. Give it up for me, I'm about to lose weight. I'm gonna start this good diet because, you know, I noticed, don't get me wrong, I like the way I look. Don't get me wrong, I do look good. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> But you know, I like to get up and I like to get dressed and I wear heels every day. But one day I got up to run my little errands. You know, I put my little heels on. I was all cute. I ran to the bank. I ran to the grocery store. And by the time I got back home at the end of the night, I had ran my heels down the flip flops. <laughs> I knew it was a point where I had to do something then. <laughs> Where are all my people at that love to text message? If you just absolutely love the text message. I do. I actually text message more than I talk on my phone. I do. Because you know why? You can just put LOL behind anything you say and tell the truth, something that you wouldn't say normally. For example, my girlfriend texts me and she's like, Jason just left and Damien's on his way, it's gonna be a long night. I text her back, I'm like, you's a trifling bitch, LOL. She texts me back, LOL. She thought it was funny, I was serious, no big deal. I got a text last week from somebody talking about, can you take me to work? Kevin ain't come back in my car. So I text her back like, hell no, bitch. I'm sleep. Kevin at home with his damn wife, that's what your dumb ass get. Always trying to please him, selling your food stamps to wear outfits to the club. Now you want to depend on me. LOL. <laughs> but she ain't text back. She called me and she going off. I'm holding my phone like, damn. Mama said LOL. <laughs> my mom really don't like LOL. Anybody going clubbing after this? Any place you can recommend that I go? Where? Nowhere? Well, I'm gonna find somewhere to go. Fuck if y'all don't wanna tell me. I'm gonna I'm make sure I get there. Cause I love to go out, I do, I love the club, I love the party. I'm the type that I don't try to look all cute, I don't stand on the wall and babysit a drink. I'm on the dance floor sweating, makeup gone, curls out my hair, clothes soaking wet, I'm stanky legging it, I'm breaking it down to the ground. And that's in the parking lot before I go in. <laughs> And I don't know why when I go out, I always have the weirdest guys try to talk to me. Like, I don't understand why. I mean, just flat out weirdos. So now, you know, I done made light of it. Like, fuck it. This is my calling. I'm going to do something with it. So now I play matchmaker. Like, I was at this club last week. Charles came in. You know, he was all right. I'm like, Charles, what you do for a living? He told me he drove a garbage truck. No offense to garbage truck, but I knew Charles, baby. Charles, baby, you ain't for me. But I'm like, see that girl down there? That's my best friend. I love her. That's Toya. She keep a nasty ass house. You drive a garbage truck. Y'all can get into some nasty shit. Tell her I sent you. They still together. They still together. But I just want to be real with y'all for a minute. Can we please, like, just call stuff what it originally was called instead of making up a whole bunch of other different names when we talking about the same stuff. Can we do that? Like what's all this iMac, iPad, iPod, 
um, Apple and all this shit when we really just talking about a computer. You know what I'm saying? Just say that because I be lost. I don't follow technology y'all like that. Let me tell y'all a story. I'm at my um, job. My boss calls a meeting. We all get together and my boss like, you know what? We're all going to be Max now. We're all going to be Max. So I stand up like, we all going to be Max. Shit, bitch, I've been Mackin'. <laughs> ain't no need for me to be at this meeting. But you know what? It ain't even called Mackin' no more, baby. It's pimping. <laughs> so I left like, uh -huh, like, I don't even need to be here. I know all about Mackin'. I left. I go to work the next day. You know, my office all cleared out and shit. I'm like, wow, they done promoted me. They want me to teach the class. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that shit no more, but I will say, <laughs> unemployment ain't that bad. <laughs> unemployment ain't that bad. <laughs> it's just a few things when you lose your job at first, you just like, fuck it, I'm gonna do what I always wanted to do in life. Go to every happy hour, every night, at every place that's having it. <laughs> but people that work, they don't like it. After a while, my girl's like, fuck that, I'm not going out with you. I have a fucking job. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. But it's cool because they call me during the day sometime and they like, what you doing? I'm like, ooh, girl, you would never believe who Newman Victor fucking. <laughs> they like, ooh, girl, who, who? I'm like, no, you have a fucking job. Go back to your damn job. I hang up on that yet. <laughs> Just like they do me. Anybody going to church Sunday? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody? Good. I'm going to church too. I am. I love going to church. Last Sunday, a miracle happened at church. There was a pastor in from another state. They like, you know, he's anointed. If you need special prayer, come on down. I ran. I know my life's fucked up. I was like the third one in line, and I couldn't wait to see what he had in store for me. So the first person in line, they like, Pastor, I'm having problems with my vision. So the pastor like, bow your head, he prayed for him. And he's like, ooh, I feel better already. I see better already. I'm like, good, this is really working. He get to the second person, and he's like, you know, Pastor, my leg ain't right. You know, I've been having pain a lot. So pastor prayed for him, and the guy like, ooh, I feel better already. So I'm like, wow, I'm really waiting on my turn. He get to me. And he like, sister, what's wrong? I'm like, my hearing. He like, your hearing? I'm like, yes. He like, bow your head. So he prayed on my head and everything. And then he like, after he was done, he like, well, sister, how you feel? And I'm like, well, my hearing ain't till next week, but if the witnesses don't show up, I think I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> Hallelujah, glory. <laughs> so it's my husband's birthday today. Happy birthday, baby. Sit down, it ain't about you. <laughs> See, you try to give somebody an inch, they take a damn mile. Ain't nobody told your ass to stand up. <laughs> Always trying to take my damn time. Damn, I only got 10 minutes. I bet he was gonna try to bring his ass up here too if I wouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> it just kept right on going. <laughs> But y'all know what, I ain't gonna take too much time. I do wanna tell y'all one last thing before I go. I am from Ohio and I've been doing comedy for a little while and I love doing comedy, I do, but sometimes, you know what I'm saying, comedy has its ups and downs. For example, I'm leaving this club the other night and this guy following me, I had noticed him in the front row and he was following me to my car. So I just stopped him, I'm like, baby, you know what? I'm not even a real celebrity. No need to be a groupie, just go, just go. And he like, bitch, I don't wanna fuck you. We in a motherfucking recession. And he grabbed my purse and ran. <laughs> so I chased his ass till I ran out of breath, which was about three and a half, four steps. He did get away, safe to say. But I seen him at the gas station a few days later and I'm pumping my gas. And he like, broke bitch. So I'm looking like, who is, who is that? <laughs> broke bitch? I know I don't look broke. I'm broke, but I know I don't look broke. So I don't think he's talking to me. And he come up to me, he like, yeah, you got this big ass designer purse and not a motherfucking dime in it. And I'm like, okay. He like, I'll sell it back to you for $100. So I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, 
And I'm like, why the hell would I sell, buy my coach purse back from you for a hundred dollars when I paid 25 for the bitch at the swap meet? <laughs> comedy don't pay like that. If you ain't got a big name, comedy do not pay. I was looking at my last five dollars before I got here. I looked down at my money. Ain't no dead presidents on my money. Cat Williams was on my shit. Funny money. He like, money down, bitch, money down. I'm scared to spend it. Shit. I don't know where I'm gonna be at tomorrow. But y'all know what, that's my time. Y'all give it up for Cozy for allowing me to come here. You guys are a great audience. Thank you.